a new reading for you today, Leo. This is called Don't Wonder Anymore. That's right. You don't have to wonder anymore, Leo. We're going to get some answers for you, Leo. Let's see. For the month of September, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising in Leo. Let's see. This reading is perfect for those of you that need a situation clarified. Perhaps you have gotten or are receiving mixed signals and uh, you want to know what's really going on. Let's see. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's so nice to be here with you guys. I missed you so much. I wish that I could upload more videos monthly, but uh, well, I'm limited in how much I can do because of my personal readings. Let's see. But I'm going to really be trying a lot more to, to post more videos for you. Like this new reading. Let's see. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising in Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So already I'm getting a feeling, uh, feeling very uncomfortable. So I'm a highly sensitive empath. I'm a psychic medium. So I get my information through other means other than tarot cards. And a very strong message that I'm getting right now is, um, so as a, as an empath, I can, I can sense, feel, and for those of you that I'm connecting with right now, there is a very strong need to accept yourself. I'm feeling very uncomfortable right now, and uh, I'm feeling like, I don't know, like very uncomfortable in my own skin. And I'm just uh, experiencing this right now as I'm tapping into your energy, Leo. So let's see how this ties into this reading. Let's see. I'm hearing there's a very strong need for you to know that that you are loved and you are a loving and lovable person. And I'm feeling called to I'm feeling called to pull a card from this deck, which I don't usually do. And I use this deck in my personal readings. I use it in Life Purpose in Twin Flame reports because uh, these this Oracle deck is very good about highlighting things that we need to heal. Let's see, Leo. Surrender to divine timing. It says sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Surrender to divine timing. And then right at the bottom of the deck, we have surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. So, very strong emphasis for our, the month of September. Perhaps, Leo, you're going to be experiencing some things coming to the surface, emotions that are uncomfortable. There's a very strong need for you to confront those things and to take a look at what is causing them, what is the source, and to heal that. And you do that through becoming aware. That is the very first step in healing, becoming aware of your thoughts and your emotions, any triggers. And what was the second message that we got for you? Divine timing. So there could be a situation in September or that's going on right now, has been going on, that is making you worry, making you anxious. And there's a very strong need for you to examine that and how that makes you feel and know that the reason that you are experiencing that right now is because it's trying to show you, it's trying to help you heal something that needs healing. So very important for you to pay attention to that, Leo. Let's get started. 
I want to shuffle three more times, uh, actually a few more times. For those of you that are my subscribers, you know that I like shuffling my cards for a little while. As I shuffle, I'm picking up impressions, thoughts, feelings. So let's see. Leo. The first card is what they're telling you. By the way, guys, I am taking 24 hour readings now. I had stopped for about a month because I was completely booked. So, yes, I'm taking 24 hour readings again. Also, I have specialty readings now on my website. I have life purpose reports twin flame reports as well as mediumship readings for those of you that are interested and finally do follow me on instagram i have weekly pick a card readings so that link is down below for those of you that want to follow me let's get started my dear leo what are they telling you five of fire whatever they're telling you they could be fighting words. This is someone that is feeling conflicted, that is experiencing some pretty troubling thoughts, emotion, and as a result, this manifests as a person that is very problematic, that could be aggressive, that could be coming off very strongly. Five of fire is what they're telling you. Let's see. Let's clarify the five of fire. We have the seven of gardens the seven of gardens so what they're telling you could be something that they said to you like it came out of their mouth or it could also be something that they're showing you so it could be either or so the five of fire and the seven of gardens what i'm getting from this is that this person is one fighting with you at the moment there's been some disagreements and the seven of gardens is that they haven't gotten over that so this is what they're telling you or what they're showing you the seven of pentacles is here and in this deck it's depicted as a person that's kind of just like bored and they're just like there so this is someone that is still entertaining right that's what i'm getting still entertaining this five of wands so a person that is mad a person that is disappointed and that still needs more time to process these feelings so let's see this is what they're telling you what they're showing you so let's see this is what you see this is what you see about them so pretty much what you perceive about this person about the situation what you think is happening what you think is going on leo we have the seven of tides you don't know you're confused leo the seven of tides is being up in the clouds not having any clarity it could be this it could be that it could be so many things and uh the seven of tides when we experience the seven of cups it uh is because there's a very strong need for us to develop our intuition and to listen to it so what is your intuition telling you? Know that you're not going to know all the answers, but uh, you don't need them. All you have to do is trust, sit in your feelings, and you will get an answer. Seven of Tides, we have Temperance. There could be a Sagittarius of Significance. What do you see? So the Temperance. The Temperance represents the coming of opposites, reconciliation temperance balance so what you see is someone that needs that i feel like you don't really understand this person very well or you're wondering what what's going to happen and you know that they're healing the temperance represents healing transmutation temperance let's see so this is what you see someone that is trying to reconcile some erratic energies and you don't really know perhaps what is the root cause of this with the seven of cups let's get one more card we have the ace of winds so the ace of winds represents clarity represents truth represent represents an aha moment finally getting an answer that you've been wanting hoping for 
So you're trying to understand this person. So what do you see? You see someone that is very difficult to understand that is that is in need of some profound healing with the temperance. Let's see. What are they thinking? What are they really thinking? We have the two of tides. So they're thinking about love. The two of tides is the two of cups. This is a soulmate. This is a twin flame. They're thinking about how much they care about you. They're thinking about this strong connection. The two of tides is all about a deep emotional bond. The six of fire. This is what they're thinking. The six of fire here is depicted as a woman that is putting on a show. So what they're thinking is that this connection is undeniable. It's like they cannot deny it, right? They cannot unfeel it. The six of fire, six of winds with the two of tides. This is what they're thinking. What are they feeling? How do they really feel? What's in their heart space? We have the Eight of Winds. This is someone that is feeling trapped, that feels hopeless, like there is no way out. Eight of Winds. This is also someone that feels like they cannot love. They feel like they cannot express their emotions. Eight of Winds. Here is depicted as a woman in a cell. A prisoner. A prisoner of their own feelings. Let's see. We have the Strength card. This is Leo. Could be a Leo of significance. This person sees themselves as remaining strong during very difficult times. I feel like this person is not doing very well at all. And you know that because what did I say? There's uh, We have the temperance and this is how you see them. You see them as someone that is experiencing ups and downs. That is the temperance and, and here it's depicted as two women on, on swing. So if you can imagine the swing goes back and forth, back and forth. So this is someone that is back and forth, back and forth, right? Eight of Winds and Strength card. This is how they feel. They're trying to remain strong. Where is this headed? Where is this headed, Leo? The Hierophant. The Hierophant represents Taurus. So the hair font, and then we have you, Queen of Fire. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So the hair font represents truth, represents commitment. Let's see. Deeply rooted beliefs. We have the Six of Gardens. So the Six of Gardens is a gift. It's a give and take. It's all about an exchange. So I feel where this is headed, I feel like where this is headed is a deeper commitment. The hair font in the Six of Gardens. Let's see. We have the Eight of Tides. The Eight of Tides. I feel like whatever this person, whatever is holding them back, could be could be a relationship for some of you, the hair font, could be a marriage, or it could just be things that have been instilled in this person, right, from a very young age. What is right, what is wrong, deeply rooted beliefs. The hair font represents, the church represents religion. The eight of tides. And I put it right under the hair font. So walking away from those things that they feel that they absolutely have to give their devotion to, for example. 
The Six of Gardens. Let's see. Six of Gardens. We have the Four of Tides. So the Four of Tides is being disappointed, being unfulfilled, unhappy. There is something missing here. You see two lovers back to back. So I feel like what you can expect is to receive something from this person. There's going to be some sort of, ex of exchange and this person is going to be walking away from this hair font. That's what I feel. Which is just something that has been consuming them, that has been taking all of their time you know, again, the hair font is a very serious commitment. Let's get one more card. We have the gesture of tides. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces. There could be a water sign of significance or this is representing communication, a love offer, an exchange of words strongly felt. And it's going to revolve around this four of tides, this, this uh, disagreement these hard feelings that are being harbored at the present moment. Strongly feel that this person and you could not be talking. And finally, where is this headed? This is headed uh, for communication. Let's see. Let's pull a card from this Oracle deck, Leo. Leo, Leo. Let's see, a message for you, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising in Leo. What do we have for you? A message for you, Leo. We have Love Makes the Difference. My goodness, I keep pulling the same cards from this Oracle deck. Love Makes the Difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Love makes all the difference. So very straightforward right i feel that in the month of september it's a very there's a very strong need to be understanding to be loving to share your love and this is going to bring security to someone else it's going to make someone feel good and it's going to make them feel loved self-worth let's see let's pull one more card for you leo we have look at your pattern, look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. So for some of you, I feel like there's a very strong need for you to remain open, to show your love. Perhaps this is something that you've had difficulties doing and it revolves around this five of wands, this tension, this fighting, this back and forth with the five of fire. And perhaps there is a tendency for someone to do this. I'm not talking to you, right? So there's a very strong need for the both of you to reflect on these patterns, right? That you resort to and to modify those behaviors. So this is what I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. It was my honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, bye-bye.